Oh man, give me some money. Get out of my way. You are woozy. Hello, Sonny. Tommy, Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. I only so wish I married that father. Get me a beauty parlor. I hum so bad even I then can't even hold myself. Then I'll learn some real diplomacy. Oh, come on, 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 And then I'm like, for sure. These songs never get old. Here's one for the high school prom. Yeah, I need the swing of the I need a dime or ten bucks, get me on my feet. Get out of my living room. Yeah, get lost! Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do?
Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer at strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Bike. I do nothing, you want you stupid crazy man! Hold that No, my shit. bike!
Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... Risk. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with... Love fest. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve all Scott. The throws a passion with the Nippo invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as if a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, then another amigo. How do we find you? <clears throat> Our business is very tried. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go over Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. For listening, go back to your homes. Florida does not... Will you be working for my father? Maybe. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. Fashion crime, drugs, everything is on the rise. Absolutely. Of course it is. When I was in Uganda, people were poor, but they were happy. The more you have, the less you have. And that's kind of what I'm all about. There's satisfaction in spending all day weaving a basket, rather than just buying one at the store. At one point in Uganda, I saw a great lake of sand and a massive speaking dog. It was a dog of love, not of hate. It was a spirit oh, journey. What are you talking about? I'm t See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Oh, for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can Somebody hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one bedroom. Oh, yeah. A business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Three or four radios all turned on to BCPR. A dog. Fifteen... I think I enjoy this. Hey, mind the lady. I was gonna say.
spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud. The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking... Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, alright? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. This country needs something to aim for, like being rich and laughing at poor people, or being in government and laughing at the electorate. Now, now, Mr. Shrub, let's not make this personal. I appreciate your attempt to press the point, but we are here to press the issue. My city is... So far, we've got secessions, rearing its ugly head for the first time in a century and a half. We've got ignore it, and we've got give everyone a flower. You're all a, a little unrealistic, yes? Nah, right, come me. on, yes. I can just hear you there, my friend. Maurice, not to say over-opinionated and moronic, Mr. Crayshaw, how do we stop people running amok in the city with machine guns and heavy artillery? You've got to give a man a chance. Prisons are overflowing with wasted potential. Make the guilty men innocent once more. Free them from themselves. How? How on earth do you do that? Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser! That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Capitol Hill, you were instrumental in pushing through a bill allowing the manufacture and sale of giggle cream, a dessert with potential lethal consequences. Uh, not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. So, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect each other, to act safely in society? And how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy.
weather than before. While crime rates only go up if you don't turn the graph upside down. Turn it upside down, and they have have. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Fight! You got a death wish, asshole! Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way! like men. I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, alright? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now.
Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some hey. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll show you. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Not even funny. You should have stayed out the way! Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him re- This way! about this town. You gotta pack some heat. The local gun shops a couple of blocks away. I'm gonna have myself some fun for now. 
Have you ever played in the snow? Rock those shoes, girl. Where's your car? You're the only one you can wait for. Are you, you know? Where are you now? Have you you okay, Leo? You sound kind of different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? What do you want, man? Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Get away from me. What's the password? Get out of the way. Word up. You're so good. Come on, this is my first night! Oh, I need to do this. Oh, my city like Okinawa. Oh, you little shit! You're a 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 little each condo is tastefully furnished with a stock bar and an exotic water bed, shaped like a dog. J.D. Acres also has a golf range, firing range, helipad, and exotic petting zoo. When your kids come to visit, you're successful. Start defining your lifestyle. Start defining yourself. Shady Acres. J.D. Acres. Happiness is worth the price. Damn, you stepped on my sign. Yo, you better watch yourself. I'm not talking to you, buddy. You, you messed up my gear. You from that old folks home brunch place. I'm enjoying this. Here was some money. Uh. Huh. Oh, you want to eye jam you in trouble Ow. now! Ow. Ah. Hurt you, boy. What? Yeah, I fought for this shit all you funny? Get Eso away from me! I know you... You make me run and I'll get all sweaty. Oh, 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 Stop! Where is this? I know Don't how to fight, get out my moron. Set, son. Yo, you can... oh. Come here!
moron still left? Oh. I hope you like the words pick up, poke up. Called Caucasian female body hair in American culture. I love you like my sister, but honey, you've fallen prey to a sustained marketing assault that began in 1502 to convince women that underarm and leg hair was wrong. There's nothing more natural than this enormous bush I've got growing under each arm. Having hair is natural. What's the deal with Anglo-Saxons? I mean, go to England. The women here don't shave their underarms. It's really quite attractive. You just need to focus your eyes to look for healthy signs and not the signs of socialized barbarism, like shaving or wearing deodorant or birthing in a hospital, rather than the open air like a wolf coat. Remember Brother Romulus and Noble Venus? Fast. I find this really interesting. Not really, but I say this because I'm told to. I'll be back in the chat after the messages from our sponsors. Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you! Oh, jeez! I'm gonna need new pants! Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon! Now where is the goddamn money?! Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this! I really did! And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor! You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, oh of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Just send me a letter. I'll send you an automated photocopied response. We call. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen, by at least three inches, which means I'm a lot more respectable looking. Everyone knows. Here because I'm a man of the people. Vote shrub. You'll get richer and you won't feel guilty about it. Enough! We're running out of time and you complete. Uh, <sighs> and Mr. Hickory, what about you? All right. These problems are typical of what happens with an open border to the north. The state is filling up with trash. People who can't tell the difference between a swamp and a marsh. Guys who don't know the first thing about the legality of marrying within the family. That's why we need a river. People, I'm telling you, pick up your spades, go into your garden, start digging as deep and as far as you can. Yo, get out my fence! Oh, no, you're a pretty good driver! 
shopping. Questioned him all the cheek, were you? Oh, of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877, but I've been here for five years, which is a very long time. Yes, it is. A very long time. Almost. Oye, amigo, I'm hungry. Oye, so see. Gag me. Watch where you walk at, Dubito. You got a gag me? Oh, my God. Get down for hell. The wrong time, man. How you doing? Get the car on me. That's the matan. Open your eyes. You know you want it. You sure you oh, want please, it? please, guys. Better have someone someone to help me. Lady, yeah? This is the wrong time, man. Get a hook. Get the pasta, pana. Me gusta los viejos. You need it, right? Uh, not guilty. Understand? is a great place to take. Well, and interest-free. Donate your money now. Let's get back to pressing issues. Thank you, guys. So, we're back on pressing issues. Just one of many fine shows you'll hear if you have the patience to listen to public radio. Although, thanks to the many awards we have won, Pressing Issues has extended playtime and is the number one rated show in the Vice City area. I'm your very entertaining host, Maris Chavez, a man climbing the broadcasting ladder at a rate of six knots. Six years ago, I was a clown, and now I'm a success. <laughs> Think about it. Imagine where I could be in 10 years. I could achieve anything, anyway, morality. What is it? Why do we need it? Our ancestors, shortly after discovering fire, built tools to beat each other over the head and discover how to make meat to celebrate with afterwards. Then Columbus came over, shut down the pilgrim discourse. Why? All very confusing if you ask me. And you did. And I asked myself, that is a perfect subject for a region-wide discussion show, which is very lucky because I happen to host one. To discuss the subject of morality, we have firebrand preacher, Pastor Richards, the head of the Pastor Richards Salvation Statue Organization. until I say otherwise.
Step on! 